Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to actually clean a goat and also marinate a goat, okay? Haitian style, all right? So this is about six pound of goat meat. Um, as you can see, I already rinsed it out and I have to actually clean it out. So I'm gonna take all these extra fat out that we don't need, okay? We just need the meat, we don't need all that extra fat, okay? So that's how you actually clean your goat. You have to take some of these fat off. All right, as you can see, then separate. Then I actually have some lemon water with vinegar and some other marinated, which is the mojo that I use to actually marinate my meat. Okay, it's really good. This is life for your meat. Very, very good, okay? And I'm actually putting salt on my lemonade, I mean on my um, lemon water that I'm going to use for my goat. You don't want to put too much salt because you don't want it to be salty. So you have to remember after all this is done, you're actually going to marinate your meat as well with Maggie's and the blended spice a piece. So you don't want to put too much salt, just enough um, to actually give the meat some um, flavoring that's it okay and this is the vinegar I use and I actually before I actually squeeze the lemon juice out of the lime because I'm gonna use the lemon juice to pour over my meat um, throughout the marinated process okay which is very important because you really need to clean your goat really nicely with the lime and also I have some sour oranges I'm gonna be using as well if you have the bottle you can use a bottle but I prefer to use the the one I just buy in the market the whole one um, which is better for me I like to use that instead some people actually use some bottled lemon juice but I actually like to use the fresh lemon juice um, straight from the lime which is very good for me and just to let you know, goat have a very musky smell. So you have to clean it right. You have to really clean it with the lime. And later on, after we're done with this, we're also going to put some water in a pot and put it on top of the stove so we can actually um, warm our meat up, okay? In a Creole, we call it shode. You have to shode your meat with some um, boiled water that's gonna have parsley and also uh, lime inside of it. Okay, it's very good. It's gonna take away some of that smell. It's gonna leave your meat fresh and ready to go. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. So I have a kitchen scissors that I use, which is very helpful. So this is how I actually clean my goat meat. Okay, look closely. All right, easy. I really like to use bigger pieces of goat when I'm cooking goat. For some reason, I couldn't find bigger pieces, so I'm stuck with the medium one. I guess I would have to make it work. All this is, all this is, we don't need all that for our body. We do not need that. Okay, in Creole they call it vlin. We don't need all that vlin in our body. So please take that off. All right, because you want your meat to look nicely and ready to go to be marinated. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on pause so I can finish up. All right, I'm back. As you can see, I'm done taking all that fat out that out of my goat meat this is all that nasty stuff that's that wasn't a goat meat see all that nasty stuff you do not need that in your body look look so this is why it's good to clean your meat this is what we're talking about when we say clean your meat take all that nasty fat off okay and this is the finished product for cleaning your meat I'm actually using three lime and one sour oranges. This is mixed with vinegar and some mojo marinated. Very good. Wanna get all that 
all that lime inside your goat meat. Like I said before, I wish my goat meat was bigger. But I couldn't find none that's bigger. It was already pre-cut when I bought it. Nicely clean. So I'm gonna let this sit for like, I'll say about, about five minutes. Cause while I was actually cleaning the meat, this were already soaking, get all that flavor, all that vinegar, all that salt in there. So what I'm gonna do now is boil some water so I can actually pour over my goat meat, which is very important. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is why, what I'm talking about when I say you have to actually pour hot water over your meat, okay? Um, it's very important when you actually clean your goat, when you actually clean, when you actually clean your um, pork, your turkey, your chicken, you must, you must, you must boil some water with parsley, thyme, and lemon so you can actually pour over it, okay? It's gonna leave your fresh meat clean and smell good. Is very important. So, ladies, please boil some water for especially pork. Okay, especially pork. Um, as you know, you don't, you do not want to have all that nasty stuff inside your body. You have to wash it out with some hot boiled water. Okay, it's a must, especially in a Haitian culture. It's a must. Okay, because I've seen videos where people just put the um, pork just like that on top inside of the pot with no boiling water, no parsley, nothing like that. It's a must you must boil some water for your meat especially goat as well because goat have a very musky smell you do not want that smell on your food after you cooked it it's not tasty it's not tasty and you can actually smell the goat if you do not clean it properly in the pork meat okay so i have some thyme i have some one um lime on here and also some parsley okay and that's all you need and you put it on top of the stove on high and let it boil real good that way all that flavor can actually be on the water and then you can actually pour over it after you're done all right i'll be right back all right actually my boiling water is ready to go so i can pour on top of my meat so just make sure you guys rinse this out just put that the vinegar water out of it Same thing for chicken, same thing when you're cooking a pork, same thing when you're cooking your turkey. It's really good. Um, you do not do that for fish or beef. You do not need boiling water for fish or beef, okay? Only go, only pork, chicken, turkey for that, okay? Just to let you know, you guys know that. how your goat meat gonna look like. Nicely clean, see? Very nice. It's not bloody, you don't see all that fat on there. It's clean, ready to be marinated. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the meat out of the water and put it in a separate pot, okay? And you guys don't forget to actually take a piece of that boiling meat, taste it to make sure it is it have enough salt, it's not salty. That way you can actually know how much spice to put um, on your meat when you actually marinate it, okay? It's okay to do that. Kind of taste it a little bit. This is very good. It's lemony. You can taste the lemon, uh, the, lem the lime, the vinegar, and the marinated moha I put on there as well. All right, very good, very well. And I'll be right back. <clears throat> so after you take all that hot boiling water out of your meat, this is how it's going to look like, okay? Nicely clean. See all that? Clean. So the lime juice that I took out earlier, I'm going to pour that over it.
I have this season, which is really good. You have everything on there, so you can use that. Even though it's safe for fish, but you can use it for any of your meat, like fish, the goat, pork, chicken, turkey is really good. And it also has some light lime on there, so it's good. Um, in a Haitian cuisine, we always just eyeball. We don't have like two teaspoon, three teaspoon. We kind of eyeball to see how many we actually need. So don't add too much. You add as you go. I have some onion powder, which I actually love. It's onion powder and garlic. Kind of sprinkle a little bit. And I have some complete seasoning. Just a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to add my apis. See? Nicely colored. As you can see. All right. Just go ahead and mix that together. So it can just get inside the meat. So it can make it taste good. Do me a favor. Do not add salt to this. Please do not add salt to your marinated meat. Okay? This is what the A piece is for, and this is what this little seasonal for. So you want to add all that first, okay? Just mm, a little bit of A piece. You can actually taste all that lime, the garlic, the thyme, the parsley. Nice. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, tastes so good. And I usually add some of that marinated juice on there. It's very good for your meat. So I just add a little bit on there just to bring out all the good flavor that's in here. See all that? You got sour oranges, garlic, thyme, parsley. It's very good for your meat, you guys. Get you a bottle, okay? I actually bought mine at Sam's Club, so get you one. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it. So you get all that inside of your meat. This is just perfect. I need no more of that. A little more of that complete seasoning. And you're going to add one Maggie cubes. One Maggie cube. That's it. Just one. I'm actually using my hand because I already washed my hands, okay? Which is very important when you're cooking. Your hand must be washed. Your kitchen, make sure your kitchen is always clean before you start cooking. Mm. And taste it, okay? Mm, so good. So good. It's so good. All right. And look. That's it. You don't need nothing else. That's it. And then what you're going to do when you're actually going to put it on top of the stove top, on top of the stove, you want to add some parsley thyme. I don't tie it together. I just put it just like that. And I already washed them already. One hot pepper. Do not cut it. Just put it just like that. And I'm going to add some tomatoes. I'm actually using one whole tomato. It's going to make your goat tasty. So please wash and remove the seed that's actually inside of it. Very important. And I'm going to use one green onion. And if you want, you can actually crush one garlic to put on there. But I don't need to do that because I already put enough garlic um, in my a piece while I was doing it. So there's no need for that. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen, when you actually gonna put this on top of the stove top, okay? Do not add any water to this. Do not add any water to this. This is it. You're going to put that on top of the stove, okay? On medium, okay? Not high, medium for the first batch of the boiling process. You're going to put it on medium because you want all that marinated goodness, all that apis to actually get inside of the meat, 
okay? I hear people say they marry, they meet for like five, four hours. There's no need for that, okay? Only thing you need to do, just leave your meat just like that inside of the pot when you actually put it on top of the stove the stove top okay do not add no more water the vapor is going to make is going to turn to water and that's all you're going to need and later on you're going to leave it for like an hour on top of the stove but you're going to have to keep checking on it to see if you need more water where you can add just a little bit at a time not a whole bunch because you still want your meat to taste good because if you actually add water uh, for the first batch of the bo boiling process it's going to lose the flavor Okay, you do not want that, okay? So I repeat, do not add water to this when you're actually boiling on top of your stove top for the first batch, okay? So you're gonna keep checking on it. I say every 15 minutes, just check on it to make sure that it's not um, missing water. If it is missing water, just add a little, uh, a little bit more water to it and that's it, okay? And make sure you just keep it covered, but you, go, you don't wanna keep uncovering it while you're boiling it, okay? That's all you need, look, that's it, that's it. Okay. And after the vapor water is actually inside your meat, taste your water to see if it still has the same flavor as before. If it doesn't, um, just add one more Maggi cubes and that's it. Do not add salt. You do not add oil to this because you're going to add the oil later on when you're actually cooking it when, to caramelize your um, meat. So it can turn to nicely colored if you need it because most of the time the meat already have its own natural oil. So you do not need to add no more um, oil to this, okay? So um, if you have vegetable oil, you can. If you have olive oil, which is the best, um, you can use that as well, okay? But that's later when you're actually going to uh, caramelize your meat. Make sure you have nicely colored, um, but only if we're going to need it. Only if we need it later, okay? Because we're going to see. It's going to make its own natural oil later, all right? So the meat marinated process for the goat is done i hope you can see it just like i can you do not need all that extra stuff that's all you need for your meat see all that that's it that's it that's it that's it and taste it too mm, tastes so good it's not salty you taste the lime flavor you taste the garlic the seasoning the powdered onion seasoning i added on there um this seasoning that i added on there is really good the lime juice the um sour orange is all in there okay and one whole tomato and one green onion some parsley thyme and hot pepper that's it all right and i will see you later because later on i'm gonna show you guys how to actually cook this delicious haitian style goat it's gonna be tasty i wish i was able to actually have you taste it on the video but unfortunately i can't so you're gonna have to actually watch okay thank you i'll see you later okay like I said before, do not add water to this. Do not add no oil. Okay? That's it. Bye. Thank you.